we'll start mass in a few moments.
opening hymn is The King of Love, My Shepherd Is, on page 7 of your bullet. reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, write all the words I have spoken to you in a book. For thus says the Lord, incurable is your wound, grievous your bruise. There is none to plead your cause. No remedy for your running sore, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you. They do not seek you. I struck you as an enemy would strike, punished you cruelly. Why cry out over your wounds? Your pain is without relief. Because of your great guilt, your numerous sins, I have done this to you. Thus says the Lord, See, I will restore the tents of Jacob. His dwellings I will pity. Cities shall be rebuilt upon hill, and palace restored as it was. From them will resound songs of praise, the laughter of happy men. I will make them not few, but many, they will not be tiny, for I will glorify them. His sons shall be as of old, 
is the assembly before me shall stand firm. I will punish all his oppressors. His leaders shall be one of his own, and his rulers shall come from his camp. When I summon him, he shall approach me. How else should one take the deadly risk of approaching me, says the Lord? You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please respond. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release their doom, to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence. That the name of the Lord may be declared on Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples gather together, and the kingdoms, to serve the Lord. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Alleluia. Comes up to the young boy 
And he says, he said to the boy, if you show me the way to ours, I will show you the way to heaven. If you show me the way to ours, I will show you the way to heaven. That parishioner became a very respected parishioner in arms and became lifelong friends with St. John Vianney. And that was that young boy's first encounter. Uh, that really gets at the essence of, of who John Vianney was. He wanted people to go to heaven. And he wanted to help people to go to heaven. And he was given extraordinary graces of endurance in order to do that. When he first came to ours, there was no faith. Uh, two people showed up to his first Sunday Mass when he was first pastor in ours. And by the end of his time, 30 years later, people were traveling from all over France so that they could hear, so they could go to confession with St. John the Young. Later in his priesthood, he his typical day was getting up at 1 a.m. in the morning, going to the parish church that you can still see today, and spending two hours in prayer from 1 to 3, and then beginning at 3.30 in the morning, he would start hearing confessions for the next 14 to 18 hours. That's how busy the guy was at the end. And when people would come to him, he was given this grace to, to read souls. Imagine going to confession to a priest and you say everything and then the priest says, I think you forgot something. <laughs> that would be kind of terrifying, wouldn't it, at one level? That God saw right through every person that John Vianney ministered to. They were known by God, they were challenged by God, and they were encouraged by God to live to live lives of repentance and greater holiness. But that opening story, if you show me the way to ours, I will show you the way to heaven. That's what we ultimately want in the priests that serve our church, is that they know God and they know how to show other people how to know the God that loves them. And, um, that's why there's such a temptation for so many priests and for so many parishes to get caught up in the things of the parish. You know, the, the next chicken dinner, the next fish fry, the next cash raffle, the next set of bills, the next set of committee meetings. Oh, I was slighted there, I was offended there. Make sure we take care of the cemetery. Take care of our buildings, which we all have to do, but sometimes that becomes the main concern of parishes and priests, and then you forget the reason why the parish exists. The parish, the Catholic parish is, exists for the members of the parish to become saints. And uh, that's the purpose of why St. Aloysius exists, and Our Lady of Seven Doors exists, and St. Wenceslas, and St. Francis de Sales exists. It's, it's for us to be, become saints. John Vianney was so clear about that, and he did it in the most insignificant town in France. The population of ours, France, is about the population of Bethlehem, and that's the model for every parish priest. So, so let's pray for 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 our priests. I know a lot of you, everyone in this church. I know that you for priests. I know that you have prayed for me and you've, you've expressed that. And I cannot thank you enough for that. But please keep on praying for priests that we may never lose the main reason why we exist, which is to help all of you to get to heaven. To get all of you to heaven. That's my job when I wake up in the morning. I can't be a better job. Let's pray that more would be willing to do that. And let's pray for parishes that want to do that together. And then on top of that, they have a fish fry. But not having fish fry means sending them to hell. Let's pray.
but have you in the worship of God be the center of, of everything that we do. St. John Vianney, pray for us. Let us stand now and offer our prayers. Christ's love for the church is mirrored in the life of St. John Vianney, the curie of ours. Through his, through his intercession, let us pray. Make us true followers, O Lord. You emptied yourself that you might fill others with life. Deepen in all pastors a self-sacrificing love for their people. We pray to the Lord. You came not to be served, but to serve. Strengthen those who do works of service against all temptation to pursue personal gain. We pray to the Lord. You gave your life as a ransom for many. Grant courage to those who are called to spend their lives in tireless dedication to pastoral ministry of every kind. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all struggling priests, for all tempted priests, for all priests who have left their vows, for all faithful priests, that they may imitate the virtues of St. John Vianney. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all our seminarians, for the archdiocese who are studying for the priesthood, that God may be with them and confirm his love for them. We pray to the Lord. For the renewal of holiness in all of our parishes, especially for all members that are indifferent or who have fallen away from the practice of their faith, we pray to the Lord. And for all the faithful departed, remember Larry Rothmeyer and Father Richard Schaefer, who are remembered in this Mass, that God may bring them to see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Through the intercession of St. John Vianney, make us deeply desiring, desiring for the life of holiness. We pray in Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings on your altar in commemoration of blessed John Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, grant us on the festival of St. John Vianney, who bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, 
We sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, in all you have created. Rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John Vianney and with all the saints on his constant intercession, in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all Michael, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household, to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. For those joining us on the live stream, we'll do the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed St. John Vianney, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. I hope you have a very nice evening. It's beautiful outside. So. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. St. Michael, Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of the world. Amen. Have a great uh, evening, everyone.